Well, we start uh, the year trying to make the NCAA tournament. That's our goal, obviously. You know, this year we played, you know, we had a chance to play for four championships. One, GLI, which we won. Second one is a regular season championship. We finished second. Third, we didn't, we didn't do what we wanted to do in the playoff championship, but now we have a chance to win our national championship, and that's what our goal is. Coach, you had the, the week off. Boston got kind of beat up, you know, in, the, in Hockey East. Two come from behind overtime victories. I mean, is that an advantage having that extra week? Well, it could be either way. You know, it, it looks at it like they're going to be battle tested for sure as they come out of it. But we're rested, energized, and ready to go. So usually, how that works is we got to make it through the first period. You know, and then we get up to battle tested speed and we're ready to go. But I think they're a really good quality hockey team. We're ready to go. It's, it should be a great contest. They've got a Hopi Baker nominee on their team too. I mean, what are you, what are you looking at? What are you, what's going to be their strengths and their weaknesses? Well, he's their strength for sure. They got a great goaltender as well. But Lane Husband's a big time hockey player. I, I was lucky enough to coach him at the World Junior Hockey Champ, uh, Championships, and he's deceptive. He's he's competitive. He's a really really good player. But you know, we'll play through him. We'll make it hard on him. We'll we'll do the best we can. Yeah, just a little bit of a reflection moment on this season. We spoke before the season started, and you said Poland's the type of guy that can lead the country in goals, and McAllister's a kid that can really surprise some people. You know, just, just for a second, reflect on how your players have really, you know, come and taken those spots from the guys that have left and gone professional and, you know, really lived up to what you thought they could do. Well, it's good I tell the truth, right? <laughs> so you guys know. No, it's uh, – I mean, Jason Poland's been a leader since the day he stepped foot on this campus, and, and, and to me, he's a Hobie Baker winner all day long. He leads the country in goals. Again, you know, there's other guys with more more points than him, but their supporting cast looks different. They're full of first rounders. I mean, we have a lot of good players on this hockey team, no doubt about it. But he is a leader in all ways, on and off the ice for sure, and in the classroom and as a person. So there's no doubt. And Ryan McAllister is as dynamic a freshman as you can possibly have, and we're excited to have him. He's been made plays all year, and we we'll expect to make plays this weekend. You made the tournament last year. Uh, yeah won a game in overtime and then got bounced and then you made it back this year with a different team. What's it like getting back there second year? Well, bounce is a little harsh, but it is what it is. We played a very good hockey team. But um, it's great to make it back. Obviously, it's, it's this is a hard tournament to make. I think we made it, or this is our eighth time in our history that we've made this tournament. So we're really proud about that to, to make it in. To win a championship, you have to be there. You have to be in the final 16. We're there, so we have a chance. You guys were one of the hottest hockey teams about a month ago. I think you had one loss in January. Uh, what makes you feel like, because uh, you have the firepower, what makes you feel like you guys can reignite that uh, come tournament time? We believe in ourselves. And we're good. You know, we score four goals a game. We're third or fourth in the country in scoring. So we know we can put the puck in the net. We have a lot of confidence in ourselves that way. And on the other side of things, we don't sacrifice defense for offense. I think we're 12th or 13th in goals against as well. So we're a team that scores a lot. We give up. Uh, a little. That's a good combination for winning hockey games. Uh, obviously, Boston, tough first draw in the tournament. Um, can you tell me like what you've seen from them this season and what you're expecting and how your guys might match up against them? One, they're extremely well coached. I mean, Jay Pandolfo comes from the National Hockey League. He's got a great pedigree. He's done a great job with that team. They have two championships under their belt already. So they're an organized, competitive group. For sure, that for the first time in a long time, I think Boston University actually has a bunch of seniors. That doesn't happen very often there, right? Their guys normally sign early. So they're an older team for their, them, and they're, they're talented youngsters as well added into that. So they've got a great goaltender. They're a competitive group. They honestly, they look a lot like us. They play a lot like us. What was it like yesterday watching that selection show? I they showed the camera of the team on at the restaurant or whatever, and it it was one of the last sh shown teams in the in this show. Were you guys swinging out a little? Well, bit aside from reading our name on the screen, it was hard to know that we were in the tournament after watching <laughs> that show. I think if you guys watched the same one I did, so it is what it is. <laughs> like that's not the, how many times you're mentioned in the tournament it doesn't give you success in the tournament. That's not how it works. So um, anyway, we're again we're excited, proud group. We're ready. We'll be ready to go on Thursday. What's the difference? Uh, you know, last year you were the number one seed. You come in here, the number three seed uh, this year. But, but what makes this team? I guess you had a lot of experience last year, but you, you have one of the the nation's leading goal scorer this year. What's the difference between last year's group and this year's group? Well, I, I really always shy away from comparing one group to another because, honestly, if you change one player, it changes the entire dynamic of a team, I believe. So the chemistry of this group, the belief is similar, um, the way they really care about each other. I think that allows us to overachieve our talent on a regular basis. We do that, and, and again, I think it's a collective more than it is an individual player. 
Um, you know, you talked about how there was a little bit of a break, obviously, between you know your last game and this one. Um, was there anything you guys specifically focused on during this break? Like, I, I know there were some shortcomings, you know, of the previous games. Was there anything that was specifically, um, you know, honed in on? Right. Well, I think there are main shortcomings. We didn't shoot it in the net. Yeah. Like, honestly, it wasn't lack of chances. If you go watch that series, if you did watch that series, one CC had a hot goaltender for three games. There's no doubt about it. He also beat Denver the next game. So he was outstanding in the net. We played good hockey. Didn't shoot it in the net. You have to score when you have the chance, and that's what separates winning from losing. Jason, just getting back to the NCAA tournament your senior year, what, what's it like being able to get back there and then the challenge ahead with Boston in the first round? Uh, yeah, obviously it's uh, special. You know, last year was a it was a great feeling, good thing for our, our program, and you know to repeat our our presence at the at the tournament. It's obviously good for a program, and we're excited for the opportunity. And uh, you know we have we obviously know we have a challenge ahead, but we'll be prepared for it. Um, just a little reflection moment here. Uh, you know, before the season, a lot of seniors departing, a lot of faith placed in the younger guys, especially you, um, and a lot of good praise coming from coach towards you. Um, you know, what does it mean to have that kind of faith and that kind of backing behind you? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's special. You know, I mean, whenever someone believes in you, it's it's a good feeling. But uh, you know, we we knew we lost some guys, but we also had some guys that were ready for the opportunity to step up, and you know, they've they've taken the opportunity, and we're excited for it. You guys have, uh, you, Ryan, um, and Max coined the assassin line. I'm just curious, is, is, did that come from you guys, or is that something that was come, came from our side? And um, how, do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it kind of came from our teammates. You know, they, they kind of they, they gave us that name. But, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's cool. But, you know, anything that we can do to help the team win, whether it's putting up points or just playing good defensively, you know, that's, that's our goal. Yeah, what, a, what about that line makes you guys just so lethal? I just think we, we gel really well together. You know, we, we all bring different aspects to the game. And, uh, you know, Ryan's a really skilled player. He, he can make plays. Sasson, he just works works hard, he, and he can also make plays. And then I'm just kind of there to kind of form that the, three, the trio and try and put pucks in that. Um, obviously not the result you were looking for against Colorado. Um, how do you think those losses have uh, motivated you guys to get, you know, get back on the ice and work even harder coming into this tournament? Yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't what we expected, and we expect more of ourselves. So, you know, we'll, we'll take that into account. But, you know, we just got to look forward to our opportunity against Boston University, and that's what we'll look forward to. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, I've got word, too. Yeah. Um, We're just passing. <laughs> just, uh, you know, you've already won an award, um, the NCHC uh, player, of the, player of the Year, and then your coach did too. Um, is there something that clicked for you this year um, that for you just kind of, because you're the leading goal scorer in the nation, so is there something that just kind of propelled you forward this year? Uh, I, I mean, obviously a lot of hard work went into it, but you know, I mean, I, I've got great teammates, great coaching staff. They've, they've really pushed me harder this year to bring the best out of me, and you know, it, I, obviously it, it's shown and hopefully continue. You know, Boston's obviously a tough draw in the, in the, in the first round. Um, you know, I don't know if you've seen much of them this year, what you've heard. You know, just tell me what you're expecting coming into the matchup. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're a good team. Any team in the, in the tournament is a really good team. And, uh, you know, we, we try and we'll look at some video and try and see, see what they're like. But obviously it just comes down to, to our game and playing our game. And I just think your durability, I think you've played in every single game this season. Um, What's your mindset when you step out on the ice, whether you're banged up or not? Um, what what goes into that, and um, just your durability this year? Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of credit to our medical staff for obviously keeping me going every, every game and every practice. But uh, yeah, I mean, just want to go out there and do whatever I can to, to help the team win, whether it's scoring goals or just locking down defensively. Whatever I can do to help the team, that that's my goal that that night. What? Uh, some of you were in the tournament last year. Obviously, other people moved on and new people came in. What's that experience factor like now that you have a year under your belt being in that tournament? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously that, that that's huge for us. Uh, you know, we, we have quite a few guys on the team that were on the team last year that, that made the tournament. And, you know, we got our first win in the tournament. So obviously that'll carry over and help our confidence. But, you know, we, we've got a, young, a lot of young guys that are ready for the opportunity too. And, uh, you know, we're ready to take advantage of it. And just with it being a tournament style, one and done potentially, or, or single elimination, I should say, Anything can happen in hockey. I played hockey growing up. Like, what you know? What what do you guys think about going into those types of games where it could be, you know, all it's all or nothing, really? Yeah, I mean that's that's the mindset you have to have is you know you have to give everything you got and 
because you know that, that could be the last game and uh, you know harm sent for 60 minutes and we'll see how it turns out and hopefully it's it's our way.